Hey, this is Spencer again here at Langston's Alternative Power. I'm going to show you a few different uh, scenarios for off grid for um, a low head hydro. This is what this is doing at 5 foot ahead right now at 12 volts. 50 watts. Bringing in at 54.9. And the battery voltage is at 12.8, 3.78 amps, 24 at different times. These are the, this is the three phase of direct the fire here. There's the plug. I've got another inverter I'm going to show you later that's right here next to it. This charge controller is feeding this battery. And it also has this inverter over here. Um, they can run 120 volts. This will run 120 volts without any batteries, straight from that plug. That'll be hooked to that plug right there. And you follow this cord, which we're losing a little bit of voltage because of the size wire that I ran. But there's the low head hydro. As you can see, it's not the best intake. For it. We out here in the middle of nowhere. Nice little gator pond. Have to kind of keep my eyes open because I know there's something out here watching me. This is a hydro. Actually, right now I've got a a 90 degree elbow right there. It's actually sucking the water from over the dam. There's a dam pipe. I don't know if you can see it, but it's up under the water. And it's actually sucking the water to the turbine. And that's what's turning. Uh, open voltage on this is about 120 volts DC. Um, AC is probably about 85 through the main inverter. It, it, that's been, I don't have quite enough drop to get the voltage up to 120 with my inverter. But I'll show you a few things here. We still is about through the outback charge controller. We can turn this inverter here on to run whatever we want to run off of it. Up to a couple thousand watts. Let's just hook to this battery, which is coming from this charge controller, and now we're going to disconnect the charge controller, we'll hook it to my inverter, it'll put out more wattage at a higher voltage, I'm going to hook a, in my next video, I'll hook it up to 24 volt system, and uh, it's a little bit more efficient there. This. Um, low head hydro here is a really high voltage I've got some that are higher amperage um, that'll work a little bit better more amperage and wattage wise at lower voltages this one here is mainly for high volts so I'm going to unhook this plug now and you can see it's been a much much faster so now we're going to hook it to this plug, which actually goes to my inverter. And wait a few seconds and it'll turn on. And as I was saying, the voltage is going to be a little bit low on this one because the head isn't very it isn't as high as it needs to be plus it's actually having to suck the water over the dam versus you know gravity feeding but at five foot ahead i think it's pretty good i got this drop light here plugged into it until it put a load on it it dropped it back to 72 volts and cut it off It'll bring it back up. But 
if you've got at least six foot ahead and enough water and you don't have to run a 90 degree elbow over the dam to suck the water in it'll do 120 volts now your wattage is just gonna I've tested it before about 500 watts at a six foot ahead but the, the more head you have, say you have 10 foot ahead, it's going to be double the wattage. So it'll be about 1,000 watt, watts at 10 foot ahead. And if you use this inverter, the one that I make, yeah, you don't have to have a come straight roller the wires. Go straight to that plug, which is three phase, all the way back to that three phase PMA, which is a permanent magnet alternator very quiet it's got a slight little hum to it okay now that we see how this is working I also have a heavy weight that I can mount on it for the AC stuff so if you have a trying to start stuff it's uh, a heavy load it wouldn't it won't bog the turbine down but if you've got enough head it won't bog it down anyway so now we will turn it back as you can see this is not on. I'm gonna plug this, plug, unplug it here. I got to put the phone down because I don't want to get electrocuted. It's about 120 volts coming out of here, three phase. And we should see it start to see it's bringing in at 138 volts. And it should just waking up now. And we get about six amps there. We're around 50 watts. 50 watts is good at five foot ahead. You figure 10 watts for every foot of water you have, which is pretty good. So, if you have any questions, uh, give me a call at 843-319-4830 or check us out online at LangstonsAlternativePower.com. You can either do your DC, but you're going to have a lot more power backup if you do DC because you can just size the inverter in the battery bank and your charge controller just charge the batteries when they're fully charged you can run a, a lot heavier loads than you could with ac but if you don't have the money to buy batteries or if you're somewhere you can't get batteries then this inverter here works great uh, my next video will be 24 volt system and if you need anything just give us a call thanks